Have you ever looked at jewelry or precious metals and wondered, why is platinum, a silvery white metal most of us know from wedding rings or luxury watches, more expensive than gold? After all, gold has been the king of value for thousands of years. It's in treasure chests, coins, Olympic medals, even the phrase gold standard. So how does platinum, a metal most people barely think about, manage to top it in price? Well, it turns out the answer isn't just about rarity. It's also about science, economics, industry, and history, all mixed with a bit of human psychology. So buckle up, because this is the surprisingly complex story of why platinum costs more than gold, right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with the obvious one, rarity. Platinum is significantly rarer than gold. In fact, estimates suggest that all the platinum ever mined could fit into a cube about 21 feet on each side. That's tiny. To put it into perspective, for every 180 ounces of gold mined, only about one ounce of platinum is produced. And it gets even more interesting. Most of the world's platinum comes from just a handful of mines, mostly in South Africa, followed by Russia and a little bit from Canada. If something disrupts mining operations in any of those regions, like strikes, political instability, or logistical challenges, it can send platinum prices soaring. Gold, by contrast, is found in many parts of the world and is mined more consistently. So, simply put, platinum is rarer and harder to get. But that's just one piece of the puzzle. Now let's talk about how difficult it is to extract platinum. Gold, while not easy to mine, is usually found in higher concentrations in ore. Platinum, on the other hand, is spread out in much smaller amounts. To produce just one ounce of platinum, you need to process about 10 tons of ore. That's right. 10 tons. Compare that to gold, which typically requires around 3 tons of ore per ounce. The process to refine platinum is also much more complex and energy intensive. It involves multiple steps, harsh chemicals, and high temperatures, all of which add cost. It takes months from mining to final product. So even if gold prices are high, the effort and energy to bring platinum to market makes it more expensive to produce. While gold is primarily used in jewelry and as an investment, platinum is a bit of a workhorse. It's heavily used in industry. One of platinum's most important uses is in catalytic converters, those devices in cars that help reduce harmful emissions. Platinum helps turn toxic gases like carbon monoxide into less harmful substances. Diesel engines, in particular, rely on platinum more than gasoline engines do. But that's not all. Platinum is used in medical equipment, dental tools, hard disk drives, thermometers, and even cancer treatment drugs. Its unique resistance to corrosion and extreme temperatures makes it essential in many high-tech applications. This industrial demand, combined with its rarity, keeps the value high. When the auto industry is booming, platinum prices often follow. But as you'll see later, that also means platinum can be more volatile than gold. Of course, platinum is also a favorite in the world of luxury jewelry. Its color is naturally white, so it doesn't need to be plated like white gold. It's also extremely durable, heavier than gold, and hypoallergenic, which makes it perfect for engagement rings and watches. But platinum's value in jewelry isn't just practical, it's also symbolic. Because it's rarer and more expensive to work with, platinum has come to represent prestige. Ever hear the term platinum level or platinum credit card? That's not just marketing. Over the years, platinum has become the metal of exclusivity. In fact, in some countries like Japan, 
Platinum outsells gold in jewelry. It's a status symbol, pure and simple. Now, here's where things get a little complicated. While platinum has historically been more expensive than gold, that's not always the case. In recent years, gold has actually overtaken platinum in price at times and stayed there. Why? It comes down to market volatility and perception. Gold is considered a safe haven asset. When economies go through uncertainty, think inflation, war, or recession, investors buy gold because it's stable and trusted. Central banks also stockpile gold. Its price is driven by emotion as much as utility. Platinum, on the other hand, is more tied to industry. If car manufacturing drops or there's a global slowdown, platinum demand and price can fall dramatically. So while platinum can be more expensive, its price swings more wildly than gold. Now here's where things get a little complicated. Over the years, platinum has gained attention from investors, but it's still a niche market compared to gold. You can buy platinum bullion and ETFs just like gold. But again, gold has the advantage of history. It's something people pass down through generations. Platinum, not so much. There's also a newer trend, sustainability. As the world shifts away from fossil fuels and toward electric vehicles, the demand for catalytic converters, and therefore platinum, might decrease. Some analysts worry that this could lower platinum's industrial value in the long term. However, platinum may find new roles in hydrogen fuel cells and green energy, which could swing things back in its favor. So in terms of investment, platinum is a bit of a roller coaster. Gold is the steady ride. So why is platinum more expensive than gold? The answer is layered. It's rarer, harder to extract, and used heavily in high-tech industries. It has prestige in the jewelry world, and when demand is high, it can skyrocket in value. But it's also less stable and less culturally entrenched than gold, which means its price can dip, sometimes even below golds. In short, platinum is like the brilliant underdog, scientifically superior in some ways, yet living in the shadow of gold's ancient glory. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.